Okay, so I'm Luke Schroeder, and as Chris mentioned, uh, I'm going to be presenting about reducing fossil fuel dependence while maintaining the bottom line for energy utilities in the United States. A little bit of background about me. I'm big into the outdoors, music, technology, and I'm a bit of an environmentalist, which led me to the question for this project, which is, how can energy utilities shift towards a greener future without sacrificing their bottom line? In the spirit of Earth Day this last week, I've designed this model to predict uh, utility revenues based off of what types of electricity generation methods they have and how much energy is being generated from each type. This data for the model came from monthly energy information administration surveys, uh, which outlined the sales, revenues, and generation types uh, on the plant level for 400 different utilities. So what did this data actually look like? I've built out this map here that plots each different plant. Uh, it will tell you the plant name, generation type, as well as nameplate capacity. So in Denver, we see a pretty diverse layout here, a lot of solar, some natural gas in the city, as well as up in the mountains, we're seeing a lot of hydroelectric generation. So over the past five years, how has this landscape changed? Uh, taking a look at our big fossil fuel generators, we have coal on the decline and natural gas on the incline pretty much inversely here. Um, and this is largely due to the fact that coal fired power plants can easily be switched over to natural gas. So a lot of utilities have been going that direction. Taking a look here at renewables, we can see that nuclear is staying pretty much constant throughout the past five years and wind and solar are on a slight increase the goal of this project is really to figure out how in the next coming years, this increase can be a lot more pronounced. So how did this model work? As I mentioned earlier, it predicts revenues. The raw revenues were distributed uh, not very well for uh, machine learning prediction. So I went ahead and log scaled those revenues. As we can see here, the distribution becomes a lot more normal this greatly impacted the predictive capability of the model. And so that model ended up being a gradient boosting regressor. Uh, it predicted on those log scaled revenues that I just showed and had a root mean squared error of 1.45. And what that means in English is that on average, I was getting within $1,450, which is really good considering some of these utilities had revenues in the billions. So given this model, what should the industry do? First, we'll look at how the model actually thought. Um, so here is an example for coal generation. The higher portion of electricity generated from coal, we saw the predicted revenues for a given utility went down. Uh, and inversely here with solar, the more solar uh, electricity generated by a utility would bring the predicted revenues up. So bringing that all together, what are my recommendations for the industry moving forward? First is kick coal. As we saw earlier, it is not helping um, the revenues of these companies and it's also not a renewable. Next, invest in solar, similar to coal uh, we, we saw before. Uh, these revenues are going to be better with solar energy. Next, nuclear is stable. That meaning uh, when I looked into how it impacted the prediction of the model, uh, it, it really didn't sway it much either direction, positive or negative. So nuclear is a good bet to have that green energy, but not uh, hurt the bottom line. And lastly, gen generation diversity is profitable. Across all these different generation methods, I saw that a utility with more than one uh, way of, of creating electricity was going to have higher predicted revenues. And so I wanna 
end off by saying green energy is not only attainable in the near future, but it is also profitable for these companies. So any questions?